OK, I'm going to start with the bad news. Uh, you cannot currently move any PS5 games from the SSD of the console and onto an external hard drive, which means you have to delete the games when you want to put new stuff on there once this measly 667 gigs of free space is used up, which will not take very long. However, if you already own a PS4 game drive, then the good news is that it will work on the PS5. And although you can play the games directly from the hard drive on the PS5, the way you want to use it really is to move them from this hard drive onto the SSD of the console in order to take advantage of the Game Boost feature and of course the improved load times that it will provide. So I still think it's worth using your external hard drive as it's going to be much quicker to transfer the games from it onto the SSD than it would be to re-download them again, especially if you've got poor internet like most people have these days. Not many people have got super fast broadband. Now, the other issue is potentially bricking your console. Now, you may not have heard about this, but if you have, the way around it is basically to avoid the console going into rest mode whilst you have a hard drive plugged into the back of it. Now, uh, you could always just unplug the hard drive before you turn it off or let it go into rest mode, or you can just select do not put in rest mode, as I have here. And you don't have to worry about screen burn. If you're going to leave the console for 10 or 15 minutes, you could just go into your screen and video output and you can select dim screen while inactive after a certain amount of time. So that solves that one. A look at the PS5 user's guide confirms that the rear SuperSpeed USB ports are the ones intended for extended storage and not the one on the front, which is primarily just for charging your controller. Now, more options you have there. If you see the little dot symbols, if you click on that, it does give you the option to format your hard drive for media files. Now, if you regularly use USBs or external hard drives, you'll know that you have to safely remove them so as not to corrupt any data. And once you've done that, it's safe to unplug it. However, for some reason, the uh, expansion drive I've got for file storage and my USB flash drive, neither of them had an option to safely remove them. So that worries me a little bit. There's also no option to view your media files in the storage section of your settings. The only way you can do that is to go into your media gallery and scroll along there to where it says USB, which also applies to an external hard drive if you're using it for file storage. And there you'll see your files, which I've got set up for my PS4, PS5 and my Share Factory videos. So yeah, basically just select a video and uh, you can play it straight from your USB or external hard drive. Also from the media gallery, you can highlight any of your videos or screenshots and press the option button and then copy to USB drive and also vice versa. So if you want to move any of your USB images onto your media player, then again, just highlight the image, press your options button and then that option will present itself. Now, just to point out a little detail you might not notice, but once you've downloaded a game onto your hard drive, the title of the game will have the little hard drive symbol next to it. And also, if you've transferred a game from disk to your hard drive, then it will show that you need the disk and your hard drive plugged in in order to play it. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'm currently uh, in the process of making some cyberpunk videos. I've got a playlist if you're interested. I will leave a link at the end of the video. Uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it on, on the PS5. Uh, it's uh, really taken advantage of the uh, game boost feature and running at 60 frames a second. So yeah, check them out. And uh, if you like this one, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.